world of the internet. Internet world. The world of the internet. So hi, we are back today with another testing oh. product. We just tested out this bad boy that's been floating around the internet for a little while now. We're not going to talk too much because we want you guys to see our review on it and obviously you can see we're wearing it now. So you need to watch and see if we love it or hate it. Dermacol, is it the world's full, most full coverage foundation or no? We even tested if it covers the tattoo. So stay tuned, keep watching, enjoy this video and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. So be prepared to see us with no makeup. B1, Halloween's coming soon. <laughs> Three, two, one. Throw the keel. That was good. Throw Throat keel. Before we start our video, we've got one more thing we want to quickly say. We have a special mention for a very special young lady. Her name is Emmy, and we've heard so much about her. Emmy's mum got in contact with us and told us about her story, and we felt so inspired by her. If you're watching Emmy, we really hope to meet you one day and have a birthday. Yeah, we hope you have the happiest of birthdays, even that's Friday the 13th. Let's look at it in a positive <laughs> way. Spread the love. Happy birthday. We love you. Enjoy the video. Dermacol Film Studio. Waterproof. <gasps> oh, it's for film and studio. Yeah, like theatre and production. That's nice for you. So, if you guys have not heard of this, I don't know where you've been because I've seen it everywhere. Mm. But, you know when you just think there's only so much you can believe unless you try it yourself? Yeah. So, we thought, why not? So, today we're going to give you the lowdown. We don't even know if the colour's going to match because the eBay colour chart is not the most. It's not like Rihanna. No. No, no, no. <laughs> no. It's like little blobs on the screen that are... And a lot of them look the same. Computer digitally. They're not real smudges. They're like... Smudges, swatches. Oh yeah. <laughs> I hope these shades match. I feel like I've got the wrong shades for like each. I just feel like 18 rung a bell. So weird. So it's like gold metallic packaging. It's quite small, but I've heard that you don't need a lot. So we'll see. It's like fake. Mm. It doesn't feel legit. People say it's supposed to buy gold, didn't they? It's not real gold. I think we're gonna do half of our face with the beauty blender. And half with a like kabuki flat top, and we'll see. The it's difference. like a proper cream where you stub the end. Okay. The shades we've got are I've got 223, and I've got 218. We don't know whose is who. Well, that's not me, is it? Hun. This is you. Yeah. Sorry, everyone. Never mind. I'm 223, and I'm 218, but we don't know if that's legit yet. They might still be off. So what we're going to do, we're going to swatch it on our hand first, just to show you guys the colour. Oh, it's very thick. Well, Jesus. I was expecting it. Oh. Yeah, see, that's pretty much me, actually, and that is more you. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Yeah, I guess if you can't see it, it's a good sign. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to quickly read a little summary about it. It's clinically tested hypoallergenic. Yeah. For professional makeup artists and subsequently sold in Hollywood. It's got 50% pigment, hides uneven skin colour, blem blemishes, smooths the skin and gives an velvety mare appearance. Matte. Mare. That's definitely supposed to say matte. Do you think? Yeah. Crap, they have oh, messed that up. Should we just get into it? Yeah, I'm bored of that. So I've got a few breakouts on my chin. You're gonna put primer on, no? <gasps> I feel like I want a moisturising primer because it looks pretty thick. I'm gonna use Mac Prep and Prime. I think I might use that. Oh, will you now? Oh, will you now? Oh, this is actually a good colour. Mmm, this looks a bit grubby. Wait, I don't know how much I'm putting on. Yeah, same. I'm gonna use the flat top brush first. Oh my god, this is thick. It is thick. Oh. Yeah, it's like so. Like, it feels like your brush gets stuck to your face, doesn't it? Look at that texture. It doesn't look that bad. Mine's got a very green undertone. Can you see? Yeah. Crap. Okay. <laughs> okay, Shrek. Eat your heart out. Yours it's is a nice undertone. Nice colour, yeah. Oh, I'm really happy for you. It's so thick, though. 
And now I've got hyperpigmentation on my forehead. Let's see if you're gonna cover it, because not many foundations, as you guys can tell from videos where you ask what it is, <laughs> can tell. None can cover. It can cover. I literally am green. I don't know if it claims to be matte or meh. Meh. But um it's Ooh. shiny. Look at before you blend in the pores. <gasps> I don't know if you can see, but it's like <laughs> Oh my party. god, that is disgusting. Who invited you to the party pores? Poor party. <laughs> Because it's so dry, I feel like the sponge makes it more bearable on the skin. Like it doesn't feel as na as nasty. I don't know, it doesn't bounce off as well because it kind of, it's like, oh, I kind of want to stick. I quite like it. Oh, I feel like I look so green, but I literally feel like it's a light. Let me shine my torch on it and see if you guys can see that I'm not actually as green as it looks. Or maybe I'm seeing that I'm not green, but I am green. You're in denial. No, I'm still green. What the heck? You're quite shiny with it. Yeah. I'm not. Am I? So it's really quick to apply. Really quick to apply. You don't need a lot of product. Blends a lot. Like, yeah, I actually like it. It feels, it doesn't feel as tacky as you'd think it would. It's quite sticky. No. It's coming off of my hand. Yeah, it comes off, but obviously we need to set. So guys. <laughs> so guys. We have a little bit of a dilemma. That whole thing we just did applying it, my face looked like Shrek. Fiona, when she turned into Shrek's wife. We found a better way to show the real deal. It has got a green tinge, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> We're gonna add concealer and powder. But I'm thinking so far, so good. So far, oh, you was liking it, now you're not. I'm liking it. Right. Day to day, never. No, sweatiest beast. Night out, if this is nice in photos, it's still so heavy. Right, let's do concealer. So if you're unaware, Elle is a film and TV makeup artist. And I don't She'll know the real that. deal. To be honest, guys, it's like kind of a myth that you use really thick makeup for film and TV and camera because as more theatre. Um, cameras are quite HD and they pick up a lot. So when someone like, for example, right now I can see a lot of lines. I don't know if you can guys see how freaking easy this is blending out. It's mixing so well. Sorry, carry on, I just had to share. It's fine. I think it's blending out so nice, it's yours. Yeah, it is. I really thought it would dry. But yeah, what I was saying was, for film and TV, now technology is so high tech that HD picks up anything. Can't wait to set this. Same, it's creasing a lot. Mine's not. That's off getting old. Old. People are gonna scream at that comment. I think that looks a lot better. This definitely looks like a night out makeup to me. If I wore this on a daytime, I'd be sick. I don't think I could wear it. You could um It's so much. It literally, I feel like where I'm looking at you, honestly, it doesn't look too much. There's powder, there's powder. Let's do it. Before the powder and concealer have saved it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now I want to contour. So every time I do something, I just want to add more to it. The more I'm putting on, the better it's getting. Surprisingly. Um, you mean the more you're adding to it? What did I say? The more you're putting on. I'm not hating it at all. I want to put some highlight on. I really like it. <laughs> you do this with everything. Final verdict. I don't mind it. You don't mind it? No. No, I, do, I, I don't not like it at You'd all. You'd wear it again? Oh yeah, I'd wear it again. I don't think it's suitable for every day. I don't think that this will be great for like, if you've got really bad spots, because I just feel like they need to breathe and I don't think this is probably the most breathable foundation ever. Imagine going to the gym in this. No thanks. I think I'd pass out from not being able to sweat. <laughs> Imagine if I, I think pass if out, you... I can't breathe. Okay, so this is my opinion, not for every day. If you've got a dance show, wipe it out, girl. Get your derma card. I'd wear this for the I price. Think it's waterproof for the price. What's it the is price? Like two pound. It was two pound. Two ninety nine, I think. 
I love it. Literally the best foundation ever. <laughs> I think ours was around £3. For that, if you can't afford a full coverage beat high-end foundation, unless this breaks you out, which will let you know, but I just... It says it's dermatologic... Derm dermatologic. Dermacol. No, dermatologic. Hyperallergenic. No, dermatology testing. Dermatology. Which is skincare, right? <laughs> dermatology. Dermatology. Dermatologically. Dermatology. <laughs> clinically. <laughs> it's like oh clinically no. tested, so I don't think you're allowed to lie about stuff like that. And um, I mean, you don't know. I mean, you could. Uh, you and yeah. dad have been prog. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And yeah, it's waterproof, so if you have a special occasion where you're doing a mermaid underwater shoot. What's yeah. it called? Synchronize swimming? I'd actually use this. I think if you're gonna, if it's your wedding day and you're gonna, mm, baby, be too thick for your wedding day. Oh, no, like, it's gonna rain. Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? You've got a blackhead on your lip. It's like rain. Can we put lips on? Play your wedding Play. day. No. Because <laughs> that would turn into brows, mascara. Oh, How are we gonna take a thumbnail now then? Just lips. You look stupid. No, I won't. I do it all the time. No regrets. <laughs> no regrets. Cause when I look in the mirror, in, in the, the mirror. mirror. What would you rate this foundation out of 10 and would you give it a hit or a miss, hun? Out of 10, 7. 7.6. 7. Um, I'd say this is a hit. I would say this is a hit. As too. it is over 5. I'm going to name 5 things why I really like it. <laughs> Are you? Oh, you not want to know? The price. Bomb. The... Can I list three? <laughs> <laughs> the pigment. Like how like it covers like it we covers know what pigment really means. okay and um you can only list two if you want <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna name three things I hate about it why <laughs> you okay she's had a hard couple of days everyone <laughs> so the feel of it you know the feel of it it's very fair it's got lighter it's lost weight I don't think I've got really bad smile lines I love it. But that's from a distance. Up close, it's quite poorie. Looks like porridge. <laughs> so we do like this foundation. I know we personally wouldn't wear it on an everyday basis just because that's not what we do. We wear like lightweight or no foundation. You can stop talking like <laughs> that now. Let's try it on a tattoo. This is supposed to be so pigmented that it covers tattoos with ease. You guys might think, oh, like any foundation can cover tattoos, but basically... Because tattoos are dark, they need to be colour corrected. And this is apparently so pigmented that you don't need to do that. So apparently you can just apply it and it should cover it straight away. So let's see. Okay, so I have a tattoo on my wrist. It looks slanted, but basically when I twist my arm, my arm just my skin twist. So it looks wonky, but you can get the idea. So That's pretty good. Yeah, like you don't have to blend it out. See? We're just gonna set it with some powder. That's really good. So guys, I don't know if you can see, but my tattoo is pretty much not really there now. That's mad. And that was like a one minute job, like if that, possibly 30 seconds, so. Thank you guys for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this first impressions. As always, if you have any other products, then let us know and we will definitely review them for you because that's what we do. That's what we go on to. Don't forget to follow us on our social media accounts and hit the subscribe button before you leave. Yes. We love you so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.